crusade right now. Yo me siento que estoy en una cruzada ahora mismo. <laughs> First Chronicles 22. Primera de Crónicas 22. Vamos al libro de Primera de Crónicas Thank 22. Thank you, Lord. This is my second time standing in as a pastor. Esta es su segunda vez aquí parado como un pastor. Even though right now I'm called to be an evangelist. Aunque aún sigo, me siguen llamando evangelista. So, so bear with me if I'm a little uh, rusty on being a pastor and I preach a little more like an evangelist. Sé paciente, si predico como un pastor, estoy acostumbrado a ser un evangelista. Praise the Lord. Alabado Dios. Starting in verse 2. Comenzando desde el versículo 2. So David gave orders to call together the foreigners living in Israel, and he assigned them the task of preparing finished stone for building the temple of God. De modo que David dio órdenes para reunir a los extranjeros que vivían en Israel, y les encargó la tarea de preparar piedras talladas para construir el templo de Dios. David provided large amounts of iron for the nails that would be needed for the doors and the gates and for the clamps that he gave more bronze than, the cor that, than could be weighed. Versículo 3. David proporcionó grandes cantidades de hierro para los clavos que se necesitara para las puertas de las entradas y los herrajes, y dio tanto bronce que no se podía pesar. He also provided innumerable cedar logs for the men of Tyre and Sidon and had brought vast amounts of cedar to David. Y también proveyó innumerables troncos de cedro porque los hombres de Tiro y de Sidón habían llevado grandes cantidades de cedro a David. David said, "My son Solomon is still young and inexperienced, and since the temple, since the temple to be built for the Lord must be magnificent, everybody say magnificent. Diga magnifico. Structure famous and glorious throughout the world. I will begin making preparations for it now." Y David dijo, "Mi hijo Salomón está un joven y sin experiencia, ya que el templo que se edificará para el Señor debe ser una estructura magnífica, gloriosa y reconocida en el mundo entero." Comenzaré a hacer los preparativos desde ahora, así que antes de morir, David reunió una enorme cantidad de materiales de construcción. So David collected vast amounts of building materials before his death. Y luego David mandó llamar a su hijo Salomón y le dio instrucciones para edificar un templo para el Señor Dios de Israel. Then David sent for his son Solomon and instructed him to build a temple for the Lord, the God of Israel. Y, y entonces David dijo, hijo mío, yo quería edificar un templo para honrar el nombre del Señor, mi Dios, le dijo David. Verse 7, my son, I wanted to build a temple to honor the name of the Lord my God, David, told, told him. Y versículo 7, hijo mío, yo quería edificar un templo para honrar el nombre del Señor, mi Dios, le dijo David. But the Lord said to me, you have killed many men in battle and you have fought, and since you have shed much blood in my sight, you will not be able to build a temple to honor my name, but you will have a son who will be a, a man of peace, and I will give him peace with his enemies and all of his surrounding lands. His name will be Solomon. Pero el Señor me dijo, tú has matado a muchos hombres en las batallas que has peleado, puesto que has derramado tanta sangre ante mis ojos, no serás tú el que edifique un templo para honrar mi nombre. And I will give peace and quiet to Israel during his reign. Y dice el 9, le daré paz con sus enemigos de todas las tierras vecinas. Su nombre será Salomón. He is the one who will build a temple to honor my name. He will be my son, and I will be his father, and I will secure the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Versículo 10, es el quien él es el quien edificará el templo para honrar mi nombre. Él será mi hijo y yo seré su padre. Además, afirmaré el trono de su reino sobre Israel para siempre. Now, my son, may the Lord be with you and give you success as you follow his directions in building the temple of the Lord your God. Ahora, hijo mío, que el Señor esté contigo y te dé éxito al seguir sus instrucciones en la edificación del templo del Señor tu Dios. And may the Lord give you wisdom and understanding that you may obey the law of the Lord your God as you rule over Israel. Y que el Señor te dé sabiduría y entendimiento para que obedezcas la ley del Señor tu Dios mientras gobiernes a Israel. For you will be successful if you carefully obey the decrees and regulations that the Lord gave to Israel through Moses. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or lose heart. Pues tendrás éxito si obedeces cuidadosamente los decretos y las ordenanzas que el Señor le dio a Israel por medio de Moisés. Sé fuerte y valiente. No tengas miedo ni te desanimes. Verse 14. This is the last verse. 
I have worked hard to provide materials for building the temple for the Lord. Nearly 4,000 tons of gold, 40,000 tons of silver, and so much iron and bronze that it cannot even be weighed. I have also gathered timber, stone for the walls, though you may need to add more. He trabajado mucho para proveer los materiales para construir el templo del Señor. Hay 3,400 toneladas de oro y 34,000 toneladas de plata y tanto hierro y bronce que es imposible pesarlos. También he reunido madera y piedras para las paredes, aunque eh, tal vez necesites agregar más. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Señor, te damos gracias por tu palabra. Thank you that it's alive, it's sharp, it's quick. Te damos gracias porque ella está viva, afilada y es ligera. And that it brings light to those who hear it. Y trae luz a aquello que le escucha. Open their eyes of their understanding. Abre sus ojos y sus entendimientos. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, verse 5, I read it, I'll just quote this part. En el versículo 5 dice la Biblia. The temple of the Lord must be a magnificent structure famous and glorious throughout the world. Dice que el templo de Dios tiene que ser una estructura magnífica, famosa y gloriosa por todo el mundo. And then it says, and I will begin making preparations for it now. Y dice, comenzaré a hacer preparaciones para él ahora. David, David was a man after God's own heart. Era un hombre que estaba tras el corazón de Dios. David was a man of faith. Él era un hombre de fe. David had his flaws, though. David tenía sus faltas también. <laughs> David liked to fight. A David le gustaba pelear. Is any, did anybody used to like to fight before they came to Jesus? ¿A quién le gustaba Jesus? pelear <laughs> antes de entrar oh, al I, reino I de Dios? I see some honest people in here. Praise Sean God. Sean honestos. <laughs> da David was a unique man. David era un hombre este único. Because he could whoop your behind. Porque él podía azotarte por atrás. But also give you a poem at the same time. Pero también te podía dar un poema a la misma vez. Have you ever met anybody like that? Han conocido a alguien como él. There's no one like David. No hay nadie como David. But here the Lord has given him instruction. Pero aquí el Señor le está dando instrucciones. He wanted to build the temple of the Lord. Él quería edificar el templo del Señor. But the Lord said, no, you will not build the temple. El Señor le dijo, no, tú no vas a edificar el templo. But your son will build the temple. Pero será tu hijo quien edificará templo. And then the Bible says he began to make preparations for that. Y la Biblia dice que él comenzó a hacer preparaciones para la edificación. David didn't have to do anything. David no tuvo que hacer nada. He didn't have to begin making any preparations at all. Él no tenía ni comenzar a hacer las preparaciones. God would have taken care of Solomon if he did nothing at all. Dios como quiera hubiera encargado de Salomón si David no lo hubiera hecho. But David had such a heart for God and, his, and for the Lord and for what the Lord was doing. Pero David tenía un corazón para el Señor y para lo que el Señor quería hacer. That he couldn't take 100% no for an answer. Que él no podía aceptar un 100% este, como, no como respuesta. I put it that way because he was obedient, he wasn't going to build it. Lo pongo de esa manera porque él fue obediente, no iba a edificar. But he said, if I can't build it, I'm going to pay for it. Pero él dijo, si yo no lo puedo edificar, yo voy a pagar por él. He said, if you won't let me lay the first stone, at least the dollar that bought that stone is going to be right from me. Él dijo, si tú no me dejas poner la primera piedra, por lo menos el dólar que compró esa piedra lo haré yo. Because he said, this temple's got to be magnificent. Porque él dijo, este templo tiene que ser magnífico. This temple's got to be famous. Este templo tendrá que ser famoso. This temple's got to draw people of high caliber. Este templo tiene que este, atraer personas de alto calibre. And he said, I can't build it myself. Y David dijo, yo no puedo construirlo por mí mismo. But I will pay for it. Pero yo pagaré por él. Notice how the Bible says 40,000 tons of silver. Mire cómo dice la Biblia que eran este, 40,000 este, toneladas de, o, de plata. 4,000 tons of gold. Y 4,000 toneladas de oro. So much iron and bronze they couldn't even count. Y tanto much. hierro y bronce que no podían ni contarlo. It's kind of funny how it says, and you might need a little bit more. But I'm thinking, that's probably enough. <laughs> es chistoso como dice que quizá podía necesitar más, pero yo dije, eso es suficiente. But he got as much as he possibly could. Pero él obtuvo lo, lo más que él pudo. Before he died off. Antes que él muriera. 
See, before he before the 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 people of God went to another level. Antes de que el pueblo de Dios vaya a otro nivel. There were already preparations made. Ya hay preparaciones uh, hechas. Before they even built the temple. Antes que construyeran el templo. The money was already there. Ya el dinero estaba ahí. Before they even went to the next thing that God told them to do. Antes de que ellos fueran al otro nivel que Dios les dijo que fueran. The father already had everything prepared for them. Ya el padre tenía todo preparado para ellos. Because what did he say? He said, my son is inexperienced at this moment. Y que dijo, mi hijo es sin experiencia en este momento. But that doesn't mean he'll be inexperienced forever. Pero no significa que va a ser sin experiencia para siempre. But in the meantime, during time of preparation Pero mientras tanto, en tiempo de preparación, there was a gathering of everything that was needed. Estaban reuniendo todo lo que era necesario. See, God knows every single need that you have. Dios conoce todas tus necesidades. God knows exactly what you need right now. Él sabe ¿Qué necesitas exactamente ahora? He knows how much money is in your bank account. Él sabe cuánto dinero tienes en la cuenta de banco. He knows how much you have invested in stocks in your 401k. Él sabe cuánto has invertido en el 401k. He knows how much you're going to have tomorrow. Él sabe cuánto tú vas a tener mañana. He knows how much you're going to have five years from now. Y cuánto tú vas a tener cinco años después. He knows how much you're going to have when you die and leave an inheritance to your children's children. Él sabe cuánto tú vas a tener cuando mueres y dejes una herencia a tus hijos. See, when you obey the Lord, cuando tú obedeces a Dios, making preparations for you. Él está haciendo preparaciones para ti. See, you're his children. Tú eres su, su hijo. S Solomon was David's child. E e Salomón era el hijo de David. And Solomon had no idea what David was doing. Y Salomón no tenía ni idea lo que estaba haciendo David. He just said he's inexperienced. He doesn't know what he needs to do yet. E David dijo que él no tenía experiencia. No sabía so lo que iba a hacer. On the side, he's saving up for his son. Y por el ladito, él guardó para su hijo. So that he can one day, when the day comes and he's about to die. Para que cuando el día llegara y él estaba por morir. When the day comes and they're about to go to another level. Y el día llegara y él va a ir para otro nivel. When the day comes and you're about to go into the new church. Y el día llega y tú estás por ir a la nueva iglesia. When the doors open on the grand opening Sunday. Cuando las puertas se abran en ese domingo. God already knew that those doors were going to open. Ya Dios sabía que esas puertas se iban a abrir. And during this time of preparation here y durante este tiempo de preparación, he was laying up stuff on the side Dios estaba guardando cosas al lado. he was increasing his children Él estaba aumentando a sus he hijos. was empowering his church Él estaba empoderando su iglesia. he was equipping his saints Él estaba preparando he sus was santos. getting them experienced and ready Él estaba dando experiencia so para when they walk into that place para que cuando ellos entren ese lugar, all their needs would be met todas sus necesidades sean hechas. because the church and the temple was not just meant for Solomon and David alone porque el templo no solamente fue hecho para Salomón y David. It was built for the Lord. Fue hecho para el Señor. And the Lord is looking to reach people. Y el Señor quiere alcanzar a las personas. It was built for the people of God to come and to worship God. Fue construida para que el pueblo de Dios viniera a adorar a Dios. It was a place to house God. Era un lugar donde iban a entrar el Señor. And so why do we need churches here in America? ¿Por qué necesitamos iglesias aquí en América? Like this one. Como esta. We need to reach this city for Jesus Christ. Tenemos que alcanzar la ciudad para Jesucristo. Why should there be mega churches in America? ¿Por qué tiene que haber iglesias grandes en América? To reach more people. Para alcanzar más personas. To reach lost people. Para alcanzar al perdido. When Solomon received that money and built that temple. Cuando Salomón recibió ese dinero y, y edificó ese templo. The word spread abroad into the whole entire region. Las palabras se regaron por toda la región. So much so that the queen of Sheba heard about it. De tal manera que la reina de Sheba escuchó. And she was listening to the stories of how magnificent and great this place was. Y ella escuchaba de cuán magnífico y grande era este lugar. And she was a queen herself. She had great things. Y ella era una reina. Ella tenía cosas grandes. And she was thinking, how can this guy have anything better than what I have? Y ella decía, cómo este varón puede tener algo mejor. Because to be honest, most women know how to dress, put things together. Everything looks a lot nicer than Porque a guy's place. Ser honesto, muchas de las mujeres se ven más bonitas y saben este, este Come on, you guys, you guys know, when I lived alone, when I lived alone, it was 
nothing on the walls. It didn't, a couch that was falling apart. It didn't matter what it looked like. I just needed a bed to sleep on. Cuando right? él vivía solo, no había nada en las paredes, no tenía nada. Él solamente necesitaba una cama para dormir. But then you get married and all of a sudden here comes the live, laugh, love sign on the, on the wall. And y luego él se casa <laughs> y está el cuadro bonito. Here's this little decoration on the table because it's a holiday. Y esos pequeños detalles y decoraciones. <laughs> Here comes all these fancy dishes and cups. And y, y esas cosas tan extravagantes, los platos. We were, we were happy with that cup we got in 2003 that just was con falling apart, but it still worked. Él estaba contento con un solo vaso de, el, so de cuando se casaron. So she was thinking, how can this guy have something greater than what I have? Y la reina decía, ¿cómo este hombre puede tener algo más grande que lo que yo tengo? It provoked her so much that she got up and had to, she traveled to the temple to see Solomon. La provocó tanto que tuvo que ella viajar al templo para ver a Salomón. When she showed up, uh, their custom was to bring a gift because they were going to show up and not just be nosy, but they were going to present a gift as a, a seat of honor. Y cuando ella fue de, lo, de camino allá, ella se presentó con regalos porque era la costumbre de presentarse con regalos, no con manos vacías. But the Bible records is as she comes in, she begins to see the servants and how respectful they are and they honor Solomon. Y la Biblia dice que cuando ella llegó a ese lugar, ella comenzó a ver cómo respetuosos eran los siervos. She looks at the dishes and the, and the cups and the table set and everything and it's, it's elegant. It's way better than what she has. It's beautiful. Ella comenzó a mirar los vasos y los platos y vio que eran más elegantes que los que ellas tenía era algo hermoso she's looking at the walls and how everything was built and the bible records that she was in such shock that she fell out like you fall out under the spirit she fell out dice la biblia que ella estaba tan sorprendida que ella estaba perpleja que hasta se cayó casi para atrás because she gets up and the bible records it's not just what they've told it's greater than what they've told ella dice, la Biblia dice que ella dijo que no es solamente lo que ella escuchó, pero era algo más grande que ella experimentó. This is why we teach what we teach. Eso es porque, es porque enseñamos lo que enseñamos. When it comes to stewardship and finances. Cuando eh, viene de la, se habla de las finanzas y administraciones. Why should the world have everything that the church should have? ¿Por qué el mundo tiene todo lo que la iglesia debería de tener? Why should we walk into secular, demonized own buildings and they look better than the church of the Lord Jesus Christ? ¿Por qué tenemos que entrar a edificios seculares y se ven mejor que la iglesia del Señor Jesús? Absolutely not. No, de veras que no. The day will come. El día vendrá. In this city. En esta ciudad. When that building gets completely finished. Cuando ese edificio se va a terminar. That you will have people of great influence. Que vamos a tener personas de gran influencia. They'll walk in those doors. Que van a entrar por esas puertas. And they'll say, I have not seen a church in this city like this in a hundred plus years. Van a decir, yo nunca he visto un edificio como este en muchos años. Because we want nothing but God's best. Porque queremos solo todo lo mejor de Dios. And God has already made preparations behind the scenes. Y ya Dios ha hecho preparaciones. But we got to access them by faith. Pero tenemos que agarrarlas por fe. Whatever you refuse to believe, you won't experience. Lo que tú rehusas a creer, eso tú no lo vas a experimentar. There's people who, who deny the prosperity message of the gospel. Hay gente que niegan el, el mensaje de la prosperidad del evangelio. So they'll never experience it. Y nunca van a tener una experiencia. But if God has already made preparations. Pero si Dios ha hecho ya preparaciones. If he already knows what you're called to do. Si él, ya tú sabes a qué Dios te ha llamado. He, if he's already giving you his word. Si ya él te ha dado la palabra. That promises you if you meditate in it day and night. La, él dice que si tú meditas día y noche. To be careful to do everything that's written in it. Y tienes cuidado para hacer todo lo que está escrito en ella. He will make you prosperous. Él te hará próspero. And you'll have good success. Y tendrás gran triunfo. Amen. Amen. The Bible says La Biblia dice, that beloved, I wish above all things amados, yo deseo que sobre todas las cosas, that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Que prosperes y estés en salud. Why does God want his people to prosper? ¿Por qué Dios quiere que su gente prospere? 
Because that's a great representation of God. Porque es una gran representación de Dios. When you get to heaven, the streets are paved of gold. Cuando tú llegues al cielo, las calles son de oro. The dirt in heaven is literally gold. Hasta, hasta la tierra del cielo Think es about como that. oro. The pavement that we walk out here on earth is nothing compared to heaven. The, the lowest of lows resources is gold. Hasta el cemento cual andamos aquí en la tierra no se compara con lo que hay en el cielo. And Jesus said, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Si Jesús dijo, tu voluntad sea hecha aquí en la tierra así como en el cielo. And God wants prosperous people in this day and age. Y Dios quiere que su gente prospere en este tiempo. And it doesn't matter where you're at today. Y no importa en qué lugar te encuentras hoy. You could have nothing in your bank account today. This has nothing to do with that. Si, tú quizás no tienes nada en tu cuenta de banco hoy, pero eso no tiene nada que ver. You, can, you just got to take his word and begin to work his word. Solo agarra su palabra y comienza a actuar en la palabra de Dios. Faith without works is dead. La fe sin obra es muerta. If you bring his word to remembrance, si tú le recuerdas a Dios su palabra, he looks over his word él mira su palabra to perform it. Para, este, a cumplirla. The Bible says God will not be mocked. Dice la Biblia que Dios no puede ser burlado. Whatsoever a man soweth, that is what he'll reap. Todo aquello que un hombre siembre, eso cosechará. God will not be mocked. Dios no será burlado. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? That means it, if you're his ch child, significa que si tú eres su hijo, and you do what is, the word says, y si tú haces lo que la palabra te dice, and you're waiting on the manifestation of the word, y tú estás esperando la manifestación de la palabra, the first people that come around you are the mockers. Los primeros que están a tu alrededor son los primeros que se burlarán de ti. Well, you're one of them people who are name it, claim it, aren't you? Tú eres de aquellos que llaman y lo claman. Well, there you are. You believe in sowing and reaping. Where's the harvest at? Te van a decir, tú eres de los que creen en la siembra. ¿Dónde está la cosecha? Many of you guys have had the mockers. Siempre van a haber burladores. You've heard the people. Tú has escuchado a la gente. There's people in this city that hate this church. Hay personas en esta ciudad que odian esta iglesia. Well, well, you guys really believe on reaching people and you got thousands of souls, but where are they at? Tú, ustedes creen en alcanzar gente. Dicen que tienen mil almas, pero time. ¿dónde están? Escuchamos eso todo el tiempo. But they don't understand. Pero ellos no entienden. God will not be mocked. Dios no será burlado. Whatsoever a man soweth, that is what he'll reap. Todo aquello que un hombre siembre, eso segará. Two years ago, I had three watches. Tres años, dos años atrás tenía tres relojes. And each time I got a watch, the Lord told me to give a watch. Y cada vez que él compraba un reloj, el Señor le decía que se lo diera a alguien. So the first one I got was real nice. Y el primer reloj que él cogió él, era bonito. A brother in church got up, came over, gave it to me. Un hermano que estaba en la iglesia se lo dio a él, se lo regaló. As soon as I got it, I knew it wasn't mine for long. Y rápido que él lo obtuvo, él dijo, eso no va a ser para mí. God gives seed to the sower. Dios da semilla al que siembra. So I got it and I gave it away. Now I'm no watch. El right? tuvo el reloj, pero también lo regaló. Ahora no tiene reloj. Short time goes on. Después pasó un corto tiempo. Another watch comes. Otro reloj le dan. I get it and el I know it's not mine. Él lo recibe, <laughs> sabe que no va a ser para él. Time goes on. I get to borrow the watch from the Lord for a little bit. <laughs> el, pas, el, pa, el tiempo pasa y él puede coger el reloj de prestado. And I give it away. Y lo vuelve a regalar. Graduation from Bible school comes. Se gradúa de la escuela de Biblia. Someone presents me with a watch as a gift. Alguien le regala un reloj. And it was precious to them. Y era algo este precioso para ellos. They gave it to me. Se lo dan a él. And I thought this one was mine. Y él pensó que ese iba a ser para él. So time goes on. About a year goes by. Y pasa como sobre un año. I'm sitting in a service. Está sentado en un culto. I see this usher walk past me. Pasa un ujier por el lado de él. And there goes the watch. Y ahí va el reloj, se lo Now dio. this was two years ago. Esto fue dos años atrás. Now all this time has gone by. Y ahora ha pasado todo este tiempo. And about two weeks ago. Y dos semanas atrás. The scripture came to me that I just gave you. La escritura que él les acaba de dar le vino en su mente. God will not be mocked. Dios no será burlado. Whatsoever a man sows, that's what he'll reap. Todo aquello que el hombre sembrare, eso segará. And I said, Lord, two years ago I gave those three watches away. Y él dijo, Señor, dos años atrás yo di tres relojes. And it's been two years and I have not received a watch. Y ha pasado dos años y yo no he recibido un reloj. See, he looks over his word to perform it. Él mira su palabra para cumplirla. Sometimes you got to remind him of the word. 
a veces hay que acordarle a Dios de la palabra Not that he's forgotten it, no es que se olvida but he's looking for your faith. pero él está buscando tu fe that w that you faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. porque la fe viene por el oír el oír la palabra de Dios he already had plans for the next watch to come él ya tiene planes para que el próximo reloj venga. But he's looking at, has my son grown up in the word? Pero él está buscando a ver si su hijo ha crecido en la palabra. All I said was, Lord, this isn't right. Your word says I should receive what I sow. Y lo, todo lo que dijo, Señor, esto no está bien. Tu palabra dice que yo recibo lo que yo siembro. And I left it at that. Y lo dejé así. I go to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Él va a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I told no one about this, not even my wife. Él no le dijo esto a nadie ni a su esposa. Some conversations you have with God just need to be between you and him. Hay conversaciones que tú tienes con Dios que solamente es entre tú y Dios. Because then the testimony will come because you know for sure this was just what between me and God. No one else knew but me and God. Porque cuando es entre tú y Dios, cuando el testimonio viene, tú vas a saber que fue entre tú y Dios. I never told anybody at all about the watch Él nunca situation. le dijo a nadie acerca del reloj. Never complained that I didn't have one. Nunca se quejó de que no tenía uno. Never had faints without hints. No tiene, nunca tenga fe sin puños. I didn't walk around without one on and go like, act like I didn't, oh, I guess I don't have one around somebody who can get me one. I didn't do that. No es que camine con la mano y diga, ah, no tengo uno, quizás alguien me puede... Dar uno. And so I'm preaching and I pass the microphone off to the pastor. Y él estaba predicando y le pasó el micrófono al pastor. And he pauses and he, he waits a little bit. Y el pastor pausa y espera un rato. The Holy Spirit's moving in the room just like it was similarly when we got started. El Espíritu de Dios se estaba moviendo en el cuarto así como se estaba moviendo ahorita. His watch falls off of his hand. <laughs> Su reloj se cae de la mano del pastor. Falls on the ground. Se cae al piso. He picks it up. Él lo levanta. And he said, God just told me to give you this watch. Y él dice, Dios me dijo que te dé este reloj. I said, praise the Lord. Y él dijo, alabado sea Dios. Here it is, right here. Ahí está el reloj que le dio God el pastor. God will not be mocked. Dios no puede ser burlado. Whatsoever you sow, A you will reap. Aquello que tú siembras, tú segará. God is not looking to take from you. Dios no está buscando de coger de ti. He always has a harvest in mind with the seed that you've sown. Él siempre tiene una cosecha en su mente por la semilla He que had the preparations ready. Él tenía ya las preparaciones. David was ready to sow the biggest seed of his life before he went into eternity. David estaba listo para sembrar la semilla más grande en su vida antes de morir. And his son got to experience the benefits. Y su hijo pudo experimentar los beneficios. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Dios de tal manera amó al mundo que dio a su único hijo. So that many sons and daughters can experience the benefits. Para que muchos hijos y hijas puedan experimentar All los beneficios. All these blessings are yours. Todas estas bendiciones son de usted. Because of what Jesus has done. Por lo que Jesús ya hizo. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Cristo no ha redimido de la maldición de la ley. Every generational curse is broken from your life. Toda maldición generacional ha sido and rota now, en tu vida. And now you've stepped into the generational blessings of Abraham. Ahora tú entras en las este, bendiciones generacionales de Abraham. God wants to raise people up in this room right now. Dios quiere levantar a personas aquí en este lugar. To not just be thousandaires, but millionaires. No para que solo heredes miles, pero millones. One idea from God can change everything. Una idea de parte de Dios puede cambiarlo todo. The Lord has preparations for your life. Dios tiene preparaciones para su vida. He's never trying to take you backwards. He's trying to take you forward. Dios no quiere que retrocedas, pero él quiere llevarte hacia adelante. But just like the father had to give up Jesus and sow Jesus as a seed. Así como el padre tuvo que dar a su hijo y sembrar a su hijo como una semilla. He, the father went bankrupt for us. El padre se fue en bancarrota por he nosotros. He gave his best. El dio lo mejor de él. Just like David gave his best before he went to heaven. Así como David dio lo mejor de él antes de ir al cielo. To reap many sons and many daughters. Para cosechar muchos hijos y hijas. The law of seed time and harvest still remains. La, la ley de la, de la siembra está todavía en orden. I share this story not to boast about my watch. Eh, eh, acabo de compartir el testimonio del reloj. Though it does look kind of nice. Don't you guys like that? It's so pretty nice. I que think. se ve bonito. <laughs> 
But to boast on what God can do when you trust his word. Pero es bueno este, sentirse bien por lo que Dios hace. It was obedience to God's word that makes the difference. Fue la obediencia a la palabra de Dios que hace la diferencia. Your obedience is what unlocks the breakthrough. Tu obediencia es lo que abre y te da tu liberación o tu rompimiento. So you have to obey God. Tienes que obedecer a Dios. B obey the Lord in all your giving. Obedecer a Dios en todo tu dar. Not just tithes and offerings. No solo diezmos y ofrendas. This isn't a tithe and offering. This is a, a watch. Eso no es diezmo y ofrenda, es solo un reloj. Th yeah, this is, I've given shoes away. These shoes, uh, man, the Lord's reminding me all this stuff. These shoes I'm wearing right here. Esos zapatos que les tiene puesto ahora. I'm in Texas. Él está en el estado de Texas. I didn't have these shoes on. Él no tenía esos zapatos puestos. I had some different shoes. They're, they're decent shoes. They tenía weren't ratty. Tenía unos diferentes. <laughs> eran unos zapatos decentes, no eran feos. I walk feos. into the church. Y él entra a la iglesia. The pastor says. El pastor dice. This, these people bought me the wrong size shoe. What size shoe do you have? Hay alguien que me compró el size este incorrecto. ¿Qué size tú eres? I told him my size and he said, I'll be right back. Él le dijo su size de zapato y el pastor le dijo, ok, yo vengo para atrás. He brings me these shoes. Y le trajo esos zapatos. Look at these. Que le sirven. Over a hundred dollar worth of shoes. <laughs> Unos zapatos que quizá cuestan como cien dólares. But there was a time I was sitting in a church service in the river Tampa Bay. Y una vez él estaba sentado en el River Tampa Bay en la iglesia. I didn't have money to give. Él no tenía dinero para dar. But I wanted to give something. Pero él quería dar algo. And I looked down on my shoes. Y cuando él miró sus zapatos. And I had some nice shoes on. Y en ese tiempo él tenía unos zapatos bonitos. And I got up and took those shoes off. Él se levantó y dio sus zapatos. And took them shoes to the altar. Y sembró sus zapatos al altar. And though God will not be mocked. Dios no puede ser burlado. Whatsoever you sow, you will reap. A ti que tú siembras, tú segarás. If God is looking back in the past and seeing I gave them shoes and gave that watch, how much more is he looking at the times I've given my actual finances? Si Dios puede ver el tiempo que él dio sus zapatos y sus relojes, ¿cuánto más él puede ver? Whatsoever you sow. Todo lo que tú siembras. That's anything you give. Es, se trata de todo, cualquier cosa que des. But you, sometimes you got to remind the Lord. Pero a veces hay que recordarle al Señor. I didn't remind him in defiance or in, ups, I, was, I wasn't upset, like mad, but I was like, Lord, this isn't right. Because I know that you're more than able. Porque yo sé que tú eres más que posible. And he said, son, you're right. Boom, there it came. Y él dijo, hijo, wasn't tienes even, razón. Y ahí vino. Wasn't even a week later. It was that weekend. Ni pasó ni una semana. Fue en esa semana. Amen. Amen. So I want you just to ask the Lord what he'd have you give on this closing Sunday in this building. Quiero que le preguntes al Señor que él ponga en su corazón para dar. David okay. was closing out his life. And David, look what he gave. David estaba cerrando su vida. Y mira lo que él dio. I feel this strongly. Don't wait for the grand opening to give your best. Give your best today. No, no esperes para el día de la gran abertura, sino da lo mejor hoy. Because what you're given today is only going to produce the tomorrow. Por lo que tú das hoy va a producir el mañana. David gave his best before he closed out his life. David dio lo mejor delante de él cerrar el tiempo de su vida. No one's closing out their life here today. Nadie aquí es que va a cerrar, va a terminar con su vida. And definitely this church isn't closing out its life. Y esta iglesia tampoco va a acabar. But we are turning a chapter to another page. Pero vamos a otro capítulo de nuestra vida. And we're closing this one out and stepping into the next. Vamos a cerrar este capítulo y vamos a entrar al próximo capítulo. So right now I want you to close your eyes. Ahora mismo pueden cerrar sus ojos and ask the Lord what he would have you give today. Y, pe y le preguntas al Señor qué él quiere que tú des hoy. And I want to encourage you to give your best. Y yo te animo para que des lo mejor. At whatever level that is. A cualquier nivel que sea. Not everyone is at a millionaire level. No todo el mundo está en el nivel de yes. millones. But you have to start where you're at. Pero tenemos que comenzar donde estamos. So after you've asked the Lord what to give, you can see the different ways to give here on the screen. Y ahí en la pantalla vemos de las diferentes formas que podemos ofrendar a la iglesia. You can go to themovechurch.com or themoveministries.com and sow your seed with your card. Pueden ir a la internet, a themovechurch.com y themoveministry.com. You can make your checks payable to the Move Church. Pueden hacer un cheque pagado a la iglesia, the, the Move Church. I don't think we're online, are we? We are? 
Well, if you're watching online, be a part of this. Mail your check-in to P.O. Box 95, Jefferson, Ohio. Si estás en la internet <laughs> viéndonos, pueden ser parte de esta ofrenda, el P.O. Box 95, Jefferson, Ohio. And if you're here and you need to mail it in, you can do the same. Y lo mismo si están aquí. Or cash app, dollar sign, the move church. El mismo es por el cash app, el dollar sign, the move church. Or text give to 833-921-7018. O por texto, pongan la palabra give al 833-921-7018. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Gracias. Thank you, Jesus. As you're still preparing, the Bible says this. Mientras se están preparando, la Biblia dice esto. Moral men receive the tithes and offerings here. El hombre moral recibe los diezmos y ofrendas aquí. But in heaven, the Lord Jesus receives your tithes and offerings. Pero en el cielo, el Señor Jesús recibe tus diezmos y ofrendas. One of the things I felt quickened everywhere I go to remind people. Eh, una de las cosas que yo les recuerdo a las personas. Is Jesus is the one to fix your eyes on. Tú tienes que fijar tu mirada en Jesús. The church is an avenue that God uses. La iglesia es una avenida que Dios usa. To give to the Lord Jesus Christ. Para dar al Señor Jesucristo. Because he's your Jehovah Jireh. Porque él es tu Jehová Jireh. Él es tu proveedor. He's your source. Él es tu recurso. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the churches. Gracias Other, a Dios por las iglesias. But we're not the source, we're just the avenue God uses to get you connected to the source. Pero no somos el re, este recurso, somos la avenida que Dios usa para dar financieramente. Amen. If you're ready to give, say amen. Está listo para dar, digan amén. If you're not, say hold up. Si no, digan esperen. No holds up. Why don't you stand to your feet, hold your offering in your hand. Pueden levantarse sus pies y levante sus ofrendas. Father, we thank you for your word. Padre, te damos gracias por tu palabra. And that you look over to perform it. Y que tú la vas a cumplir. L Lord, we're putting you in remembrance of your word right now. Señor, te ponemos en recordatorio ahora mismo. That whatsoever a man sows, that is what he'll reap. Que todo aquello que un hombre siembre, eso segará. So, Lord, we thank you for the great harvest that's coming from this seed sowed today on this closing Sunday. Señor, te damos la gracia por esa gran cosecha que va a ser sembrada en este último día culto aquí en este lugar. May they receive the hundredfold return in Jesus' mighty name. Que reciban todos a 100% en nombre de Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. All right. Give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and Running over, give, and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Help me out now, here we go. Give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and running over, give, and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Give it smile on your face. Give as the Lord has given to you. All you give is a reflection of your gratitude. So give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and ride it over. Give, and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. From your to God and you will be blessed. Don't be stingy and don't be tight. Learn from the widow in the Bible who gave her last night. So give and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and ride it over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, give to the Lord. Glory to God. If, if you have your Bibles, si tienen sus Biblias, go to Matthew 28. Vamos al libro de Mateos 28. I'm going to stick along the theme of uh, new levels. Voy a mantenerme en el tema nuevos niveles. Matthew 28, verse 1. 
Matthew 28, um, starting in verse 18. Mateo 28, verso 18. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All power and authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Y Jesús se acercó y dijo a sus discípulos, Se me ha dado toda autoridad en el cielo y en la tierra. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Por lo tanto, vayan y hagan discípulos de todas las naciones, bautizándolos en el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Enseñen a los nuevos discípulos a obedecer todos los mandatos que les he dado y tengan por seguro esto, que estoy con ustedes siempre hasta el fin de los tiempos. I want to give you this quote by T.L. Osborne. Quiero darle este eh, mensaje de T.L. Osborne. Never ask God to do what he's told you to do. Nunca le preguntes a Dios que haga lo que ya él te pidió que haga. And never ask God to do what he's already done. Y nunca le preguntes a Dios que haga lo que ya él ha hecho. Never ask God to do what he's told you to do. Nunca le preguntes a Dios que haga lo que ya él te dijo que hiciera. Now, I'm kind of preaching to the choir a little bit when it comes to soul winning. Voy a predicarle al, al grupo de ganar almas. Which is so refreshing. Porque es muy refrescante. Because I've been in places where I... I get more resistance on soul winning than I do anything else. Porque yo he estado en lugares donde han resistido en ganar almas. Because for, for some reason people just don't want to go. Porque por alguna razón la gente no quieren ir. <laughs> But I'm in a room full of people who do go. <laughs> Pero yo sé que hay gente que quieren ir. And that's why I want to talk about going to another level with it. Por eso voy a hablar yendo a otro nivel. Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples, right? Jesús dijo, vayan sobre todo el mundo y hagan discípulos. I want to break something down to you. Yo quiero este, romper un poco algo. That the Lord showed me. Que la palabra me enseñó. With discipleship. Acerca de discipulado. I was preaching in Pittsburgh uh, two weeks ago. Él estaba predicando en Pittsburgh dos semanas atrás. And as I was preaching. Mientras él predicaba. This just came out of my spirit. In Matthew 9.35. Go there. Vamos al libro de Mateos 9.35. Esto vino a mi espíritu. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Y Jesús recorrió todas las ciudades y aldeas de esa región enseñando en las sinagogas y anunciando la buena noticia acerca del reino y sanaba toda clase de enfermedades y dolencias. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Y cuando vio a las multitudes, les tuvo compasión porque estaban confundidas y desamparadas como ovejas sin pastor. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the labors are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Y a sus discípulos les dijo, la cosecha es grande, pero los obreros son pocos. Así que oren al Señor que está a cargo de la cosecha. Pídanle que envíe más obreros a sus campos. Verse 1 of Matthew 10. El versículo 1 de Mateo 10. And when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power or authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Y Jesús reunió a sus doce discípulos y les dio autoridad para expulsar espíritu maligno y para sanar toda clase de enfermedades y dolencias. Now, I teach soul winning a lot. <laughs> Él enseña acerca de ganar almas mucho. Because, uh, I mean, I believe Pastor Sam is probably the best soul winner that I've met. Porque yo creo que el Pastor Sam es el mejor ganador de alma que él ha conocido. He's definitely, he's definitely in the top three for sure. Él es definitivamente en los diez, eh, tres. I think evangelist John Duke is up there, right there with him. En lo más alto y el evangelista John Duke es el uno. But uh, I, I read that scripture all the time. That, uh, you know, I'll read it again. Just so I don't flop it around. Y él siempre lee de estas escrituras. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into the harvest. Que la cosecha es mucha, pero los obreros son pocos. O orale al Señor de la cosecha que envíe obreros. So, the quote I gave you, never ask God to do what he's told you to do. 
Y eso que yo hablé de que nunca le pidas a Dios lo que ya él te dijo que hiciera. He's told us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Él nos ha dicho que vayamos sobre todo el mundo y prediquemos el evangelio. He didn't say go and pray for the lost. Él no dijo ve y ora por el perdido. He said pray for laborers to be sent. Él dijo oren por este obreros que sean enviados. Now I put myself in the scriptures here because this is like Matthew 9, Matthew 10, right? Y él mismo se pone en esas escrituras de Mateo 10, Mateo 9 y Mateo 10. Not too much time has gone past since Jesus got the 12 disciples together, right? No había pasado mucho tiempo en esa escritura que Jesús reunió a los discípulos. We know Jesus' ministry was only about three and a half years, so it had to be probably one year in, maybe a little bit longer. Sabemos que el ministerio de Jesús duró como tres años y medio, so tuvo que haber sido como un año después. A little bit more, but we know it's within three years. Fue entre tres años que él hizo el ministerio. And he's telling them, The laborers are few. Y le dice, los trabajadores son pocos. And you see in verse 1, then he called his 12 disciples to him and then he commissioned them to go. Y dice en el versículo 1 que luego él llamó a sus discípulos y los comisionó para que fueran, los envió. So immediately after he said, pray to the Lord of the harvest for laborers, they were the answer to the prayer. Inmediatamente que él dijo, oren al, al Señor de la cosecha que envíe en, en, a este obrero, él le envió a ellos. But what the Lord highlighted to me after he commissioned them Pero lo que el Señor le marcó en, a su vida cuando él los comisionó was the phrase, he gave them power. Fue la frase que él dice, que él les dio poder. Now he's the Lord has challenged me personally. Esa palabra lo retó a él personalmente. And I feel I'm, ch I'm to challenge the believers. Y ahora yo siento retar a los creyentes. That when we go, we should go with power. Que cuando vayamos tenemos que ir en poder. We should have signs following us when we go. Tenemos que tener señales siguiéndonos cuando vayamos. These signs will follow those who believe. Estas señales seguirán aquellos que creen. It doesn't say these signs will follow the pastor, the evangelist, the teacher. No dice estas señales seguirán al pastor, al evangelista, al maestro. These signs will follow those who believe. They'll cast out devils and they'll lay hands on the sick. Dice que estas señales seguirán aquellos que creen echarán fuera demonio y Poner la mano sobre el enfermo y sanará. What did Jesus say when he commissioned them in Matthew 10? ¿Qué dijo Jesús cuando él les dio la comisión en Mateo 10? You will cast out demons or unclean spirits. Tú, ustedes van a echar fuera demonios. And you will heal the sick. Y van a sanar los enfermos. Because he's given you all power and authority. Porque él nos ha dado todo poder y autoridad. He's given you his name. Él nos ha dado su nombre. That every name that is named has to bow to the name of Jesus. Que todo nombre se, se arrodilla ante el nombre de Jesús. Any devil, any sickness, any disease has to bow to the name of Jesus. Todo diablo, enfermedad o dolencia tiene que humillar, este, rendirse a los pies de Jesús. And so we need to activate the believers to walk in power. Tenemos que activar a los creyentes a que anden en poder. Because we're, we're going. Porque vamos. And I'm talking to myself personally too. I'm challenging myself. We're y going and preaching the gospel. Yes. People are getting saved. Estamos hablando y este vamos y la gente son salvas. But it's time to step into the next level. Pero es tiempo de que vayamos a otro nivel. Where they're not just getting saved on the streets, they're getting delivered and healed on the streets. Que no solamente ellos sean salvos en la calle, pero sean libertados y sanados en las calles. Not just because Pastor Sam and Evangelist Nick are there, but because you're there. No solo porque el pastor Samuel, el evangelista Nick, está, sino porque ustedes también van. Jesus stayed back while his 12 guys went out. Jesús se echó hacia atrás mientras sus discípulos iban. He said, I've given you power and authority. You go. Él dijo, yo les he dado poder y autoridad. Ustedes vayan. And so we need to step into that. Tenemos que entrar en ese nivel. You know, as Pentecostal believers... Ahora como creyentes pentecostales, which this is a Pentecostal church, we're not a Baptist church. Porque esta es una iglesia pentecostal, no somos bautistas. I love my Baptist brothers. Yo amo a mis hermanos bautistas. They know how to win souls. Ellos saben cómo ganar alma. And that is one thing we can get along about. Y ese es algo en que nos podemos llevar. But as Pentecostal believers, pero como creyentes pentecostales, we believe in Acts 1 verse 8. Nosotros creemos en Hechos 1, versículo 8. That you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. 
que ustedes recibirán poder después que el Espíritu Santo venga sobre ustedes. We believe in Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. Creemos en el libro de Hechos capítulo capítulo 2 versículo 1 al 8. We believe that we have the power of God. Creemos que tenemos el poder de Dios upon us to be witnesses. Sobre nosotros para ser testigos. So it's time to step out into the supernatural. Es tiempo de salir a lo sobrenatural. It's time to activate the power of God. Es tiempo de que activemos el poder de Dios in your personal life. En tu vida personal. It's challenging because we know how to win people to the Lord like that. Eso nos reta porque sabemos ganar almas para el Señor así. Look, I can step out right now and I can lead the first five people. I can probably lead four of them out of the five, and the one just is being stubborn and doesn't want to give their heart to Jesus. I can get them all. Quizás yo salgo ahora mismo y de cinco puedo ganar cuatro, aunque uno va a ser quizás terco. We got the fish, we got them quick. Pero tenemos los peces rápido. But what about the one who's walking and he's limping? Pero qué pasa con aquel que está cojeando? Now we can get him saved, but why don't we take another step forward and get the brother healed. Podemos salmarlo, pero por qué no damos un paso más adelante y puede ser sano también. You'll never experience that which you won't confront. Tú nunca vas a experimentar aquello que tú no confrontas. I heard a man, got, man of God say, you'll never see the blind eyes open if you never pray for the blind eyes to open. Tú, él escuchó un hombre que dijo, tú nunca vas a ver este, los ojos de un ciego ser abiertos si tú no oras por el ciego. You'll never see somebody get out of a wheelchair if you never contend for them to get out of the wheelchair. Tú nunca vas a ver a alguien levantarse de una silla de ruedas si tú no oras por esa persona que está en silla de ruedas. You'll never raise the dead if you don't contend for the dead to be raised. Tú nunca vas a levantar a un muerto si tú no oras por ese muerto que se levante. I'm not saying that we in our human self are healing the sick and raising the dead and doing these things. Yo no estoy diciendo que no, en nuestra este, propia humanidad nosotros vamos a hacer esos milagros. But greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Pero la Biblia dice que más grande es el que vive en nosotros que aquel que está en el mundo. The Holy Spirit wants to get out and activate your life into the supernatural. El Espíritu Santo quiere salir y activar tu vida en lo sobrenatural. He wants to move through your hands, through your mouth, through your feet. Él quiere moverse a través de tus manos, su boca y tus pies. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. El evangelio es el poder de Dios a salvación. But wrapped in that that salvation. Pero envuelto en esa salvación. Is Jesus saves? Es que Jesús salva. Jesus heals. Jesús sana. And Jesus delivers. Y Jesús liberta. When you study that word out, and I'm not giving you no Greek study. Cuando tú estudias esa palabra, yo no estoy dando un estudio griego. But though, that's what that means. Eso es lo que significa. Salvation means Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus delivers. La salvación significa que Jesús salva, él este liberta y sana. So in these last days, we got to operate in in power. En estos últimos días tenemos que operar en el poder de Dios. We've got one third of the pie, you know, the salvation side. Tenemos un tercio del pastel, el, el, la parte de la salvación. But I want you to look at your neighbor and say, I'm not Baptist. Pero dile que está a tu lado, yo no soy bautista. I'm Pentecostal. Yo soy Pentecostal. Come on, and Pentecostals walk in power. Y los Pentecostales tienen que andar en poder. So we have to position ourselves for God to move. Tenemos que posicionarnos para que el Señor se mueva. Just like we position ourselves to go. Así como nos posicionamos para ir. You come here, you go out as a team, and some of you are doing it on your own time. Praise God. You don't have to just meet here for a training, but you can go anytime. But thank God for those times of training, right? Tenemos, este, nos reunimos, salimos afuera, no tenemos que reunirnos, lo puedes hacer individualmente. But we need to keep it in the back of our mind and in our heart that there's people out there that doesn't, doesn't just need saved. Y tenemos que tener en nuestra mente que hay gente allá afuera que no solo necesitan ser salvos. They need healed. Necesitan sanidad. They need delivered. Necesitan liberación. There's people out there who are bound by drugs and alcohol, and I believe we'll see them get delivered right on the street. Hay gente allá afuera que están atado por el alcohol y las y las drogas, y yo creo que ellos pueden ser libres. The same way you see your pastor operate. De la misma manera que nuestro pastor opera. And cast out devils. Echando fuera demonios. Is the same way you can operate outside of this es place. Es de la misma manera que usted puede hacerlo af afuera. So we need to position ourselves. Necesitamos posicionarnos. See, we, we believe in the gifts of the Spirit. Creemos en el don, los dones del Espíritu. But the gifts of the Spirit are there when you need them. Pero los dones del Espíritu esto, están ahí cuando lo necesitas. If you never position yourself to be needed in those gifts, si tú no te posicionas para ser necesitados en esos dones, why would the Spirit ever operate? 
Porque el Espíritu va a operar. Why would you need the gifts of healings if you're not going to reach lost people and they need healed? ¿Por qué se va a mover en el don de sanidad si tú no vas y ora por el que freely necesita sanidad? Received, gratuitamente recibimos, gratuitamente tenemos it's, que dar. It's time to flip this in the Americans' minds where it's all about I need the gifts of healing or I need healed because I need healed. Es tiempo de que ese, la mentalidad americana se haga de que yo necesito sanidad. What about your neighbor? Pero ¿qué pasa con el que es tu vecino? What about the guy on the bus? ¿Qué pasa con el que está en el autobús? What about the guy downtown in the supermarket? ¿Qué pasa con el que está en el supermercado? You want to stay healed? ¿Tú quieres quedarte sanado? Freely give it out. Pues da, da tu sanidad. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You receive what you give out. Tú recibes lo Amen. que tú das. Glory to God. Gloria a Dios. Man, that Amen. just hit me fresh. <laughs> Man, you just want to go lay hands on everybody who's sick ahora, after that. Ahora quiero poner la mano sobre todo después de esto. <laughs> so we, we, we must position ourselves, which you guys are. Tenemos que posicionarnos. But it's taking that next step. Pero hay que ir a ese próximo paso. The Bible says this. La Biblia dice esto. That these signs will follow those who believe. Que estas señales seguirán aquellos que creen. F.F. Bosworth said, faith begins where the will of God is known. F.F. Bosworth dice que la fe comienza donde la voluntad de Dios es conocida. I might have to preach part two tonight, but... Te voy a predicar la parte dos esta noche. I didn't even... I'm still on like point one. Todavía él está por el punto uno. But faith... Pero la fe... Is faith in the power of God mixed together is what produces the miracle. La fe y el poder de Dios juntos es lo que produce un milagro. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. La fe viene por el oír, el oír la palabra de Dios. You might be thinking, well, if we go out there and the person who needs healed doesn't, they don't know what the word says, they have no faith. Y tú quizás dices, si vamos allá afuera y esa persona necesita sanidad, pero ellos no conocen la palabra, quizás ellos no tienen fe. But you have faith. Pero tú tienes fe. See, faith just needs to be in the mix. La fe lo que tiene necesita estar en el medio. And faith can come from you. Y la fe puede venir de ti For mismo. For that person to be healed. Para que esa persona sea For sanada. that person to be delivered. Para que esa persona sea libertada. But you had to position yourself. Pero there. tú tienes que posicionarte. Amen. Amen. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. La fe viene por el oír, oír la palabra de Dios. We know how faith works. Faith speaks. La palabra traba, com, como trabaja ella habla. Faith acts. La fe habla. Have the faith of God. Whatsoever you say unto this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and doubt not in your heart, but believe those things that you say, you'll have whatsoever you say. La fe, si, si tú crees en tu corazón y ves esta montaña, le puedes decir esa montaña que se mueva y ella se moverá actuando en fe. In other words, you get there and you speak and the things will take place. En otras palabras, tú hablas y eso va a tomar lugar. Faith does not have to be with that individual yet. La fe no tiene que estar con ese individuo todavía. It can be with you and you can speak. Pero puede estar en ti y tú puedes hablarla. Notice how Jesus, he commissioned them in Matthew 10, right? Vean cómo Jesús lo comisionó a ellos en Mateo 10. And he's given them power and authority. Y él les ha dado poder y autoridad. When somebody gives you authority, cuando alguien te da autoridad, they've given you their name, they've given you, the, they've given you more than just Uh, they've given you de delegated authorities as if you were, they were there, and you, but you're there. Ellos te han dado la, este, su nombre, te han dado la autoridad delegada como si ellos estuvieran ahí contigo. How many of you guys have uh, been given like a power of attorney to somebody? ¿Cuántos han dado un, un poder de ley a alguien? They go and represent you now. Esa persona, ellos te van a representar. As if you were there. Como si tú estuvieras you ahí. You just have given them your authority. Tú le has dado a ellos tu autoridad. Jesus did that with us. Jesús hizo eso con nosotros. He's now given us his power, his authority for us to represent him. Él nos ha dado su poder y su autoridad para que le representemos a él. Because I think we all can agree if Jesus was there. Porque podemos estar de acuerdo que si Jesús estuviera ahí. The Bible says 100% of the people who came to Jesus to be healed were healed. Dice la Biblia que un 100% de las personas que vinieron a Jesús para ser sanos fueron sanados. But wrong believing produces wrong results. Pero creer de manera este, incorrecta produce este, resultados incorrectos. But right believing produces right results. Pero creer lo correcto produce este, los resultados correctos. That's why greater is he who is in us. Por eso más grande es el que está en nosotros. Pa Pastor Sam says it all the time. God walked in when I walked in. El pastor Sam dice que Dios entró cuando Is él entró. Right? Es correcto. Because God lives where? 
Porque in you. Dios vive en nosotros. The same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead lives in me and lives in you. El mismo poder que levantó a Jesucristo de los muertos vive en ti y en mí. But we have to use our authority that's been given. Pero tenemos que usar nuestra autoridad que nos ha sido dada. Sometimes that comes off as that, oh, they're just being cocky or arrogant. A veces yo pienso que estas personas están siendo arrogantes, orgullosos. Or they think, who do they think they are? They can, they can heal people? O decimos, oh, ¿qué se creen ellos? Que ellos pueden sanar gente. It's not about me, it's who's in me. No se trata de mí, es quién está dentro de mí. And he wants out right now. Y él quiere salir ahora mismo. Je Jesus wants to heal this person. Porque Jesús quiere sanar esta persona. Jesus wants to deliver this person. Jesús quiere libertar a esta persona. Jesus wants to save this person. Jesús quiere sanar a esta persona. So you go out with a confidence. Tú vas afuera con con eh, confidencia. You have a confidence of who you are because of who's in you. Tú tienes seguridad de quién tú eres por quien está dentro de ti. Amen. Amen. And you go by faith. Y tú vas en fe. You go out and you lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Tú vas afuera y tú pones la mano sobre los enfermos y sanarán. It may not look like, oh, I'm going to lay hands on them. That looks very uh, odd. <laughs> o, o no se mira it. como que voy a poner las manos y se ve como este raro. You lay your hands, you say in Jesus' name be healed, and they get healed. That's kind of like different. Tú pones las manos y tú dices en el nombre de Jesús es sano y sano. Eso es el este seguro de ti mismo. <laughs> A lot of people think they got to get, uh, you know, three Hail Marys and ten shakes and three bakes, and then they can go out there and they can do this Hay thing. Que pueden decir tres Ave María, tres sacudida. <laughs> it's simple. Es simple. Jesus, or, uh, Peter and John Pedro y Juan were on their way to prayer. Ellos iban de camino a orar. This is understanding what's in you at all times. They were on their way to prayer. Ellos iban de camino a orar. They weren't prayed up yet. Ellos todavía no habían orado. They weren't praying in tongues for two hours yet. No estaban orando en lengua por dos horas. They were on their way to prayer. Pero ellos iban de camino a orar. And here's a man sitting on the gate called Beautiful. Y aquí está el hombre sentado en la puerta de la iglesia hermosa. Shaking his can like they do in New York City. Sacudiendo su latita como hacen en la ciudad de Nueva York. Give me a couple of shekels, please. Para que le dieran dinero. But he's, he's, he said... He looked at him and he said, silver and gold have I none. But what I have I give thee. Pero lo que tengo, eso te doy. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. En el nombre de Jesús, levántate y anda. And he leaped, jumped and leaped and praised God. Y ese hombre saltó y adoró a Dios. But it was because he understood who was in him. Pero es porque ellos entendieron quién estaba dentro de él. He wasn't worked up in prayer. Él no estaba que había orado. He was mucho. going to prayer. Él iba a orar. He was on his way. Él estaba de camino a orar. He wasn't prayed up. Él no era que estaba orando todo el día. I'm not neglecting prayer. I was just in six hours of prayer the other Friday night. Yo no estoy negando la oración. Él estaba en seis horas de oración la otra noche. We must pray. Tenemos que orar. But we need to know who's in us. Pero necesitamos conocer we quién need está to dentro. Know, we need to go. We need to be on call 24-7. Tenemos que estar preparados 24-7. We need to be looking to see where we can destroy the works of darkness. Tenemos que estar observando a ver dónde podemos destruir las los trabajos de las tinieblas. The Bible says for this purpose was Jesus Christ manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. La Biblia dice que por este propósito Jesús fue manifiesto para que las obras de maldad fueran rotas. And so we are commissioned to destroy the works of the devil ourselves. Nosotros hemos sido comisionados para destruir las obras de las tinieblas. If Jesus did it, we should do it. Si Jesús lo hizo, nosotros también tenemos que hacerlo. Because he said, greater things shall you do. Porque Jesús dijo, cosas más grandes ustedes harán. Because he is going to pray to the Father to send a helper. Porque él iba a orar al Padre para que enviara al ayudador. Who will be, he's been with you, but now he's going to be in you. Que él ha estado con ustedes, pero ahora va a estar dentro de ustedes. Amen. Amen. And so you can step out of this place today. Ahora mismo tú puedes salir de este lugar. And you can lead that person to the Lord. Y tú puedes este llevar a esa persona al Señor. But be open to the Lord activating the gifts of the Spirit in your life. Pero mantente abierto para que el Señor active los dones en tu vida. He might give you a word for them. Quizás Dios te dará una palabra para esa persona. He might want you to lay your hands on them to, for them to be healed. O quizás Dios quiere que tú pongas la mano sobre ellos para que sanen. You might have to deal with the spirit of fear, of anxiety, worry. You, you name it. There's Quis different things people are battling. Quizás tú tienes que enfrentar el espíritu de ansiedad, de depresión. Hay gente que están batallando con eso allá afuera. It's becoming aware of what God wants to do. 
es estar este, abierto a lo que Dios quiere hacer and being obedient to step out and do it. Y ser obediente para hacerlo. And I know I'm in a room full of people who's going to be obedient to what God wants them to do. Y yo sé que yo estoy en un lugar donde la gente van a ser obediente a lo que Dios quiere hacer. Because the church won't just be known for a great soul winning church only. Porque la iglesia no solo va a ser conocida por este que ganan almas. But miracles. Pero también signs wonders Porque milagros, señales y prodigios. deliverance healing salvation sanidad, salvación. that people will know that they can come to this place to get set free porque la gente van a saber que ellos pueden venir a este lugar para ser libertados. But even if Pastor Sam wasn't here, they'd walk in and they'd see one of you and you could deal with it right there on the spot. Pero aun cuando el Pastor Sam no esté aquí, ellos pueden entrar y contar con uno de ustedes para que ellos sean libertados. Because we're, I know Pastor Sam's not just building a castle, he's building the kingdom. Porque yo sé que el Pastor Sam no está construyendo solamente un castillo, él está construyendo un reino. If it was a castle, it'd be all about him, but he's, uh, he makes it all about the people. Si fuera un castillo se tratara solo de él, pero él también quiere que ustedes sean envueltos. This is an army in Porque esto es un ejército en Ashtabula. You're part of the army of God. Nosotros somos el ejército de Dios. And you carry fire power y cargamos poder y fuego. To destroy the works of the devil for a living. Para destruir las obras del diablo. In others' lives and in your life en la vida de otros y en su vida But we have to understand our authority. pero tenemos que entender nuestra, nuestra autoridad And I'm talk about that tonight. y de eso es que voy a estar hablando esta noche porque cuando tú entiendes la autoridad tú puedes operar en lo que Dios tiene para ti Amen. Amen. I want you guys to bow your head and close your eyes. quiero que inclinen sus cabezas y cierren sus ojos If you've come into this place, si has venido a este lugar and you're not serving God like you should, y no le estás sirviendo a Dios como debieras, I want to ask you, my friend, yo quiero es preguntarle, mi amigo, if tonight was your last night on earth si tú esta noche fuera tu último día en la tierra, and you breathed out your last breath, y tú das tu último suspiro, where would you go? Where would you spend eternity? ¿A dónde tú irás? ¿Dónde vas a pasar tu eternidad? I want you to know there is a real heaven and a real hell. Yo quiero que sepa que eh, hay un cielo que es real y un infierno que es real. And you don't have to go to hell because 2000 years ago Jesus paid the price for you. Y tú no tienes que ir a ese infierno porque 2000 años atrás Jesús pagó el precio por ti. Maybe you've come to this place. Si has venido a este lugar. And you once called upon the name of the Lord. Y tú alguna vez llamaste el nombre de Dios. But you know right where you're sitting. Pero tú sabes que ahí donde tú estás sentado. You know you're not serving God. Tú no le estás sirviendo a Dios. If he was to call you home today, you know you wouldn't make it to heaven. But God is calling you back. Pero Dios te está llamando que regreses. He's the God of second chances. El Dios de segundas oportunidades. He's saying, come. Él te dice, Ven. Come. Ven. Come unto me, all you are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ven a todos aquellos que están trabajados y cargados, y yo te daré descanso. He's calling you home. Él te está llamando a casa. Or maybe you come to this place o quizás has llegado a este lugar, and the devil's always lying to you telling you that you're not saved but you want to make a statement today and let the devil know that you're born again with no one looking around every head bowed and every eye closed Nadie mirando hacia alrededor, eh, inclinada y ojos cerrado. if that's you and I'm talking to you uh, right where you're at I want you just to lift your hand and say pray for me si una de estas categorías eres tú levanta tus manos y di ora por mí amen I see those hands anybody else thank you I see those hands anybody else anybody else I want everybody just to look at me real quick quiero que todos me miren Everyone in this section here and those in the balconies. Aquellos en esta sesión y los que están en el balcón. That'll be next Sunday. El próximo domingo. If you did not raise your hand but you want to be a part of that prayer, we'll just lift your hands and say, "Pray for me." Si no has levantado tu mano pero quieres ser parte de esta oración, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those who raise your hands, I want you to do something bold. I want you just to stand up right where you're at. Just stand up. Aquellos que levantaron sus manos, quiero que sean atrevidos y se pongan en sus pies. Give him a God bless you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now I want you to, just, to step out of your seat and come down here. We're going to pray together as a family. Ahora quiero que pasen hacia adelante y vamos a orar por ustedes como una familia.
just come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you guys would just look at me real quick. I want you to know you did not come up here because of a man drawing you up here, but you came up here because the Lord himself drew you up here. He, re, he drew you up by the Spirit of God. And whether you come up here for the first time, the second time, maybe the tenth time. <laughs> God is about to change your life here today. So what I want you to do is close your eyes and lift your right hand up to heaven because that's where your help comes from. And the, Bi and the Bible says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you'll be saved. So right now I want you just to say this out loud and believe it with all of your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Come into my heart. Forgive me for all my sins. I believe you have risen from the dead. And you're coming back again for me. Fill me right now with the Holy Spirit. And give me a passion for the lost and a hunger for the things of God. Now say this so the devil can hear you. Say, I'm saved. I'm, saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. And, I'm and I'm on my way to heaven. Because I believe, I believe. In, Jesus Christ. in Jesus Christ. Now lift both hands up to heaven. Begin to thank God for your salvation. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you. I break every attack over their lives in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, every addiction broken in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every attack from the enemy, Jesus' name. We break it right now in the name of Jesus. Power right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. We break every attack. We break every lie in Jesus' name. Right now, the power of the Holy Ghost coming upon you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Fire. Free. No condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Forgiven. 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 Forgiven, 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 forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. You're forgiven. No matter how bad you think it was in your mind that you did, it's washed by the blood of Jesus today. Forgiven and forgotten. Forgiven and forgotten. Jesus' name. quickening in your body right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet I rebuke the spirit of infirmity that's coming against your life I break its power right now be healed in Jesus name healed right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord touch There it is. Free in Jesus' name. Free in Jesus' name. Free in Jesus' name. Free and forgiven. Free and forgiven. Free and forgiven. Free and forgiven. There it is. Forgiveness of God. Forgiven. Forgiven. There it is. That's the power all over you.
Don't fight it. They got you. Got you. God's operating table. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tim, let me pray for you, Tim. Come up here, brother. Lift your hands, and as you do, the power of God comes upon you. Fire. Fire the Holy Ghost. Touch. Show them things to come, Lord. Show them things to come. You're in a time of preparation. God's got everything in store for you, though. Just like I was talking about. The Father's got everything in store. You're in this season of preparation. Keep obeying His voice. Keep taking those steps. Keep staying in the fire. As you do, you'll find yourself at the right place at the right time. God's raising you up to be a voice and not an echo. A voice and not an echo. A boldness is coming upon you from this day forward. A new boldness and a fire and a new anointing comes upon you today in Jesus' name. A voice and not an echo. A voice and not an echo. A voice. A voice. Just lift your hand, saint. Lord, touch. Touch your people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come here, Brother Nick. Come up here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. New levels. New levels. New levels. Jesus. New levels. New levels. Fire the Holy Ghost. Fire. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can I pray for you, brother? Jim? Pray for you. <laughs> Amen. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. I won't hurt you, I promise. As I was preaching, I saw great gifts of business dropping on you. I see you stepping into a new realm of finances, and God has given you the gift of business. And when your hand gets on the plow and God's hand gets behind it, it's a great harvest that's coming in. So right now, I release that anointing upon your life for business in Jesus' name. There it is. Business, 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 kingdom business, kingdom business, multi, multi. God will begin to drop fresh, fresh blueprints, fresh ideas. Thank you, Lord. We release that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you guys just feel the peace of God in this place? <laughs> There's such a freedom. Thank you, Lord. Can I pray for you, brother? Come up over here. Lift your hands. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I see you as a, as a specialist weapon in the hands of God. Like, you know, you have, like, the Navy SEALs and stuff like that, you know, those. You know, the specialists, you know, whatever that branch is, it's like very few people. Do you know? The Marine Corps? 
like the Recons and the Rangers or whatever. I see that. I see the hand of God coming upon you, brother. Don't look at what others would, would label you as. For God has labeled you as a specialist. And he'll place you in positions where it will just confound the wise. How does this guy get into this place to say this? And you'll be like, it's because of God. <laughs> and you'll speak and things will take place. People will be saved. People will be delivered. People will be healed. For God is about to use you in a unique way. And I release this unique anointing now in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You receive that? Amen. Praise God. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, how many are going to be here tonight? How many going to try to come? Who cannot come tonight? You're like, there's no way I can come tonight. Seriously, I want to pray for you. If you, if you really cannot come tonight. Come up here. I'm going to pray. Now, no, those who are thinking about not coming, this is you better be here. This isn't your, your opportunity to get out of it. Only those who re- literally, I want to come, but I cannot come tonight. Amen. Awesome. Lift your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you need a healing in your body, I want you to try to, if it's somewhere you can't reach, put your hand on your belly. If it is somewhere you can reach, put your hand right where it is. If you have pain right now, we're about to pray. If you don't, then don't worry about it. God is going to, I feel the Lord moving to heal. Father, You sent your word and healed. So right now, in Jesus' name, I rebuke every pain in their bodies. I rebuke every sickness and every disease, every cancer. I command it to die now in the name of Jesus and be eradicated and removed. I speak to brand new cartilage, brand new knees, brand new organs right now. In the name of Jesus, right now, brand new kidneys, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, brand new, brand new, Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we rebuke this pain, we rebuke this, in the name of Jesus, I command strength into this shoulder, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Be healed, every single one of you who need healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Power. Power of the Holy Ghost. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, a quickening. Strength's coming into you. Things that would take your energy, it's going to begin to come back right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Regulation of your blood comes normal right now in the name of Jesus. A regulation in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Touch from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Filled right now with the Holy Ghost. There it is. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power. Power. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Fill. Healed right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in Jesus' name. Father, touch. Power. Power of the Holy Ghost. There it is. See a promotion coming into your life. Job promotion. Something like that. I just hear the word promotion. I see the Lord taking you to giving you things that you needed quickly and swiftly. Yeah. 
Things are about to get better and better and better. Not that, they're, not that they have to be bad right now, but I see an increase. I see things getting better. I see you going to a new level. I see things coming to you quickly. Resources. Jesus. We release it. Father, touch. Touch. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. There it is. Peace comes upon your life today. A peace. A peace that you can't explain. A peace that passes all understanding, brother. A peace comes upon you. Things that are chaotic are ceasing right now in the name of Jesus. You're going to sleep the best you've ever slept. You're going to be at total rest. In Jesus' name. Feel that. It's the Holy Ghost all over you, brother. Life's been chaotic at times. I see that. Life's been all over the place. It's like, man, you're just crying out for rest. You've been crying out for peace. But I see the Lord delivering that peace today. He's the Prince of Peace. He is peace itself. And Jesus has just entered into your life right here. Things that have been chaotic are coming to an end. For I see you taking upon the yoke of Jesus, which is rest get ready brother the next 12 months are going to be total life changing months you won't recognize yourself in 12 months from now and today the Lord marks you by his power and by his anointing and by his peace in Jesus name amen amen thank you Lord well why don't you lift your hands Lord, thank you for this church. Thank you for these pastors. Thank you for this city. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done in this building and what you're about to do in the new one. Lord, as we have one more service here tonight, we thank you that, Lord, you're going to do super abundantly far more and above we can ask or think. I bless these people, I bless these pastors, and I bless this church as they go out the rest of today and throughout this week, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Well, we'll see you tonight, 6 o'clock. It's going to be a powerful night in the Holy Ghost.